On the drive to Carbondale, I was feeling desperate. <laughs> so firstly, a few words on process. Any process has three stages, the beginning, the middle, and the end. And each of those stages has three stages, the beginning, the middle, and the end, which gives us nine distinct stages. The beginning of the middle, the middle of the middle, the end of the middle, for example. And the most difficult place to be is the middle of the middle. So if you see a circle, here's the beginning, around, here's the beginning, here's the middle, here's the end. Right down the bottom is the middle of the middle. We're too far from the beginning to go back, too far from the end to go forward. In the journey of the hero. Some of you may know Joseph Campbell's work on the hero. This is the abyss. And experientially, this is what it is. What holds us through the middle of the middle is commitment to our aim, basically. But now back to Carbondale. The drive to Carbondale was a three month King Crimson tour working through Europe, then up to Canada, down the United States, and out to Japan. And the other members of King Crimson knew that I'd set myself a personal challenge, a three-year challenge, holding a present moment of three years, which I called the Drive to 1981. So the other members of King Crimson knew that our performance in Carbondale on November the 11th, 1981, it what was a Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> they knew this would be the middle of my middle and I, I would be struggling. So they called it the drive to Carbondale. Now, in terms of right action generating just consequences, and we can have faith in this, one of the guitar craft characters from the early years who is still a close part of my life, was Steve Ball. There is Steve in the middle. Steve is now a player at the Beast of Redmond. That is Microsoft. Steve took me to do various things. Here he is, look at him. On one of our great divides, I have spent more time, more miles in vans with Steve setting off to unfortunate performances than any human being should be asked to undertake. One day I said to Steve, Steve, why are you here? And Steve said, I was in Carbondale when King Crimson played there in 1981. Steve was a member of the university. So King Crimson performing on the drive to Carbondale, one of the outcomes of that was Steve Ball came into my life. What would it mean to you, your career, your company, if every time you stood up in front of five, 50 or 500, in a boardroom, training center or convention hall, if you were confident, you were powerful, persuasive, professional, compelling on message and a resounding success. If you want to accelerate your career, transform sales results, develop leadership skills, or even become an in-demand, highly paid professional speaker, then Fripp Virtual Training is designed for you. Fripp VT Powerful Persuasive Presentations is my highly interactive, learn at your own pace virtual training around all area of presentations. It is almost as if I am there, sitting next to you, helping. Fripp Virtual Training is a multi-million dollar, state-of-the-art, web-based training platform. It is designed to closely emulate personal training and coaching. It's almost as if I am sitting with you 24-7 as your own personal speech coach and sales trainer. 
Sign up now, take a free trial, and experience three of our content-rich chapters. Then join and take advantage of my 30-plus years experience and in-depth study. Make the commitment to your career. Reap the benefits of Fripp VT by making it a consistent part of your personal development. You'll be glad you did.